Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find the bolt pattern on multiple different styles of trailer hubs. Let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're going to be looking at a 5 bolt hub. Now, when you look at a 5 bolt, it's going to be different than how you measure a 6 bolt and an 8 bolt. So when you have 5 studs, you're going to take your tape, go from the outside of the first stud, skip one stud, and measure to the center of the next stud. So you're going from outside, skip one, to the center of this one, and you're getting four and a half. So that makes it five on four and a half bolt pattern. The next style of hub we're going to be looking at is a six bolt hub. Now to measure and find the bolt pattern on a six bolt hub, we're going to go from one stud, the center of that stud, directly across the center of the hub to the center of the stud that is directly across from the one you are starting at. So if we go from center here, across the middle to center here, we are getting five and a half making this a 655 bolt pattern. Finally, the last style of hub we'll be looking at is an 8 bolt hub. Now, like the 6 bolt, we're going to be going from center of stud directly across the center of the hub to the stud directly opposite of the first one and going to the center of that giving us 6 and a half, making this an 8 on 6.5 or 865 bolt pattern. Another thing to keep in mind when determining the style of hub your trailer has is the stud size. Now to determine the stud size all you'll do is take your tape and measure from one end of the stud to the other. Now when you look at this one you can see that it is approximately half inch making this a half inch size stud. Now it's not going to matter so much the length of the stud but more so the diameter of it. Now when we go to this hub we can see that the studs are a little bit bigger. So when we take our tape and go from one end of the stud to the other we can see that it comes out to 9 16 and when it comes to the stud sizes you're going to see them start to fluctuate more when you get to the larger hubs such as the 865s. Alright and that wraps up today's video on how to find the bolt pattern on your style of trailer hub. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll see you in the next one.